Uh, I started out as a fitter turner machinist, halfway up the west coast of the South Island, in New Zealand, between Westport and Hokitika. We refitted trawlers from 40 to, to 80, 80 feet long. And I started refitting trawlers, or helping refit them when I was 16. I worked it for that company for nearly 10 years, and I was a leading hand in the machine shop as well. Anything they needed, uh, modifications on the uh, deck equipment, hydraulic equipment, all right. and haul outs and survey work, like checking the props and shafts. And then I went from that, I went on to uh, welding, a lot of welding and gold mining work. We used to do uh, repair work on gold mines. I worked at that for 10 years too. I had a friend who was uh, an engineer on a deep sea fishing trawler. He offered me a job for a season doing squid work catching squid about 150 miles south of New Zealand right. keeping the boat running it was a small factory trawler so we would catch the squid and then we'd put it into uh, trays in the plate freezers and then freeze and pack it and put it in boxes and then, and then we'd bring it back to the port for it. and then it had a change in my life at the end of that after I'd done that and um, my uh, friend he went to Greece and started doing sailing holidays on skipper charters on boats and doing fertility holidays and uh, he invited me over for a, she said, oh, come over for a month and work with me in the Mediterranean. Yeah. So, I, so I did, and I ended up staying there for two years. Beautiful, I, I enjoyed it. That's actually how I ended up here because I met my wife over there. She was from New Jersey. I ended up working as a, a skipper on uh, Fertilla Holidays, and she was one of my clients. And we met and I ended up here. And that's how I really got passionate about fixing sailboats and, I was sailing every day in my work and teaching people how to sail and all about boats and all that sort of stuff. So that's how really I fell in love with it again. I really fell in love with it then. That's why I do it now. So when I came to, to uh, America here, 96, guys that went to Greece, my wife had a little boat at Nike Boat Club and they asked me to come up to help them unstep the mast. So I came up here and I walked into the in the Petersons at that time. And um, John Lipscomb was the manager. The old building was still oh, here. The, all the old machinery was still upstairs. Very different place than what it is today. And uh, go out belt driven equipment, and some heavy duty sanders and planers. And nice old shop. So I started working here on the hauling crew. I didn't really tell him what else I could do at the time. And then he found out that I would weld and I could fix the engines. And I could. So I became the mechanic. And then I became a yard foreman for five years. And then I uh, decided, well, I, I always wanted to try and work for myself. And I became a subcontractor. And that's when I started to pick up all the wooden boat work that they used to have. Nobody could do it. So I started doing it for them, the repairs and any woodwork that needed to be done, I took it on for them. Because yeah. that's where I saw the opportunity because we couldn't find anybody. Now I do the sailboat rigging and some work that I bring in from other places myself and I bring it here to get it done and then whatever they need sailboat wise I do for them other electronic work things like that I do most things on a boat just about everything the boat was originally built I'm not 100% sure it looked like ash to me it was really weird wood the battens behind the planks and they were rotting out it wouldn't hold a screw anymore in a lot of the wood previously I'd done the other side of the boat. I'd put probably about eight or nine planks on the other side of the, and replaced some rotten frames on that side. And when I was doing that, I noticed that it was right on the other side, but the owner didn't want to do anything about it at the time. So we repaired the boat and I refinished it. It sat on the lift for two years and then he came to me and said, well, I noticed that the butt blocks are starting to break out and the plugs are falling out. You know, I gave him an estimate to fix the three planks that were there and the frames because I couldn't get behind it because of the fuel tank was in place. And as soon as I took those three frames off, I found all this other stuff. And then I found the transom was rotting off it. Well, I removed all the damaged wood and then started rebuilding the frames from that side. But I replaced everything with white oak and epoxied all the battens back onto the frames, replaced a bunch of frames. And then I replanked the boat halfway down the port side to the transom and then put a complete new transom on. In the end, I scraped out all the corking from the deck, recorked the deck, and pinstriped it, varnished it. 
Then I uh, carved the name in the back, finished it, sign wrote it, and painted the whole thing. I was happy with the way it came out. It was a, a major undertaking because it was a lot of work to get all the rotted frame ends out without mm -hmm. taking the whole boat apart. Maintaining the shape of the boat, 